Dobra, pusząc się, ale tam imu na deszczu. Lulu, go, be quiet. Normally we tune into A, B, which is either played like that, or up high. And you hold the note. If it's a little bit flat, which means it sounds a little bit underneath the piano or whatever instrument you're tuning to, so you need to make sure that everything is pushed in, so there are no gaps between the drawn and bright. If it's the opposite and it's a little bit higher, you can pull out, generally by the barrel, and can you see there's a slight gap right between the barrel and the upper yeah. drawn. Okay. All right. And I know that today you've brought with you some of your other instruments in the clarinet family. I wonder if we could have a quick look at those. Yes, fantastic. First of all, I thought I'd show my A clarinet. This is the B flat, and it's paired with the A. So if I hand you my B flat clarinet, I'll go and grab my A. Now, the A clarinet is slightly longer than the B flat. So it sounds slightly lower, doesn't it's it? It's slightly lower. I'll play you the bottom note on the A clarinet. Slightly lower than before. Right. And I thought I'd show a little bit of Mozart's Hamlet which is written in the Hamlet. Right. 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 And I will then bring on, and if you have a stand, that would be fantastic. The next instrument, which is the baby of the planet family, right? The stand. Now, this is the E flat planet, right? It's the piccolo planet, so much shorter than the E flat, and therefore much higher. I'll show you what that sounds like. <laughs> Okay. I'll then get my favourite instrument. This is the bass clarinet. Right? And to play the bass clarinet, you need to sit down on the chair. Because as you can see, it's so large, you need to rest the bell or this bit here on the floor. Okay. And as it's so large, it's also incredibly low. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I can see you are. Thanks ever so much. So, good luck with the rest of the book. Try to practice every day, even if it's only for a few minutes. Sarah, have you got any top tips for us? Yes, one thing I'd strongly recommend is to clean the clarinet after the practice. This is really, really important. You can buy a full cool cleaner, which does a good nicely. And secondly, look after those leaves. And because the tip of the leaf flesh is very fragile and it's easy to break. Great, thank you. So I hope you've enjoyed these first few lessons with us. Good luck with the rest of your play. <laughs>